Hello friends, welcome back. Myself Dr. Arya Kamal Das. In this lesson, I will be letting you understand what type of NEET UG questions we shall do. So, myself Dr. Arya Kamal Das, this is the details you will get in there. Or you can please rate, review and recommend. And whenever you can, you please share the videos and do comment below the videos also. Friends, let's see in the NEET UG 2017 biology section. Question 1. Which cells of the Crips of Lieberkorn secrete the antibacterial lysozyme? Option 1. Argentafin cells. 2. Panet cells. 3. Zymogen. And 4. The Kuffer cells. Friends, the Argentafin cells are there in the... Where? Can you just guess it? Or do you know? It's in the say is in the stomach the panet cells are also in the stomach the zymogen cells are also in the stomach but where is the cover cells cover cells are in the liver so number four options are ruled out so we have got three options so out of this uh, three options which is the correct answer friends can you just tell it yes the answer is two the panet cells see the cover cells are the phagocytic cells of the liver Zymogen cells are the enzyme producing cells. The panels are also secrete the lysosome which act as an antibacterial agent and the argentafin cells are the hormone producing cells. So friends, so you have understood what level of questions they ask. These are the questions I basically, I basically read in the first year of medical science. So remember friends, the new 2G are becoming day by day the most advanced one. So you, we have to know and we will let you know within a month you will grab your entire biology course so don't worry about it i will teach each and everything in a detailed manner and in a very pictorial manner so that it is easy to remember let's move on to the next questions now adult human rbc is the red blood corpuscles are the enucleated do you understand what is enucleate means they don't have nucleus which of the following statement is or are our most appropriate explanation for this feature? So let's see the statement. They do not need to reproduce. Okay. Number B. They are somatic. Okay. They do not metabolize. And number D. All of the internal space is available for oxygen transport. Okay. So let's see which is the most appropriate. Do they reproduce? Okay. Number one option they given only D. So only D, all the internal space is available for the oxygen transport. Yeah, it's true. Okay, now number two, only A, they do not need to reproduce. Is it so? Do they need to reproduce? Okay, let's see. Number three, A, C and D, that is they do not reproduce, produce, they do not metabolize and all the internal space is available. Out of this, the most correct one is D. Okay, let's see. Number four is B and C. Means they are somatic cells. Okay, they do not metabolize. If they are somatic cells, then they will reproduce. Fine. So let's see the option, correct answer. The correct answer is one. That is only D. This is the most correct statement. This is a partially correct statement. This is totally false statement. And this is partially correct statement. So we have to find which is the most correct statement. So friends, from here we understood how much detail we have to need. We will let you know whenever we uh, study the human physiology chapter. Okay, let's move on to the next question. The hepatic portal vein drains blood to the river from heart, stomach, kidneys and intestine. Friends, this is the total anatomy which we have to learn which we have to understand and we have to grab in our thoughts and all. So from here, the answer will be number four is the intestine. We will let you know in a pictorial diagram how the explanation, how the answer we will uh, in gradually uh, whenever I uh, uh, whenever I do any sort of subject, whenever I do any sort of chapter in the later part, we will discuss each and every questions and and I encourage each and every queries from you. Please, friends. Next, what is the final proof of DNA? The final proof of DNA as the genetic material came from the experiments of Griffith, Hershey and Chase, Avery McLeod and McCarthy and Hargobin Khurana. Friends, what should be the answer? 
ओके वॉट एट ग्रिफिट डेट ग्रिफिट डिट ग्रिफिट डिट समथिंग ग्रिफिट एक्सपेरिमेंटेड ऑन हाउ ए डी एन ए ट्रांसफर टू ए बैक्टेरिया बाई अ प्रोसेस नोन एज ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन देन हार्शियन चेज गिव द यूनिविकल प्रूफ विच एंड एट द डिबेट बिटवीन द प्रोटीन एंड द डी एन एज ए जेनेटिक मेटेरियल फ्रेंड्स वी हैव टू रिमेंबर द साइंटिस्ट नेम एंड वॉट आर द साइंटिफिक एक्सपेरिमेंट दे डिट दिस वी हैव टू मग इट अप एंड दिस इज द चैप्टर ऑफ डी एन ए विच वी विल स्टडी इन डिटेल वी विल स्टडी ट्रांसलेशन वी शेल स्टडी ईच एंड एवरी एप्लीकेशन डी एन ए प्रोसेसिंग ईच एंड एवरीथिंग द साउदम ब्लॉट नॉर्दम ब्लॉट ईच एंड एवरीथिंग ओके विच आर द फॉलोइंग आर द स्मॉलेस्ट लिविंग सेल्स नॉन विदाउट ए डेफिनेट सेल वर्ल्ड पैथोजेनिक टू द प्लेंट्स एज वेल एज एनिमल्स एंड कैन क्लॉस सर्वाइव विदाउट ऑक्सीजन ओके बेसिलाई बेसिले फ्रेंड्स इज ए बैक्टेरिया एंड इट एज गॉ सेल वन दिस बेसिलाइज इज बेसिकली डज डायरिया ओके नाउ नेक्स्ट कम्स सीडियोमोनस इट इज ऑल्सो ए बैक्टेरिया इट हेज ऑल्सो गॉट ए सेल वन एंड इट बेसिकली डज निमोनिया फ्रेंड्स वॉट निमोनिया इज निमोनिया इज ए इन लेमन टर्म आई विल राधर से इज एन इन्फेक्शन ऑफ द लंग्स नाउ कम्स नॉस्टॉक वॉट इज ए नॉस्टॉक नॉस्टॉक इज ऑल्सो ए साइनो बैक्टेरिया ओके एंड द आंसर लाइज माइकोप्लाज्मा माइकोप्लाज्मा इज ए बैक्टेरिया एंड रिमेंबर फ्रेंड्स इट इज अ स्मॉलेस्ट लिविंग बैक्टेरिया एंड इट डजेंट हैव ए डेफिनेट सेल वॉल so this makes mycoplasma more pathogenic and that's why the symptoms with mycoplasma will let any of the uh, animals or human bodies less symptomatic that's why it is very hard to treat and the patients you will not understand whether the patient is having any sort of mycoplasma or not it is only presentable in culture studies and all so so friends you just understood what sort of question they are asking in recent 2017 neat ug question it's totally a disastrous i would rather say disastrous for the student to answer such thing but friends we have to because i will let you i will let you maintain how to understand each and everything how to grab an mcq and how to answer the the greatest of the greatest questions you will get okay so friends from here i this is the explanation in this uh, lesson i conclude so um, we have to um, uh, basically we have understood what type of questions they are asking and in my next lesson i shall be also uh, taking some of the previous year question and we'll try to rule out how we have to take out the answers and we will see how gradually the patterns are similar the questions as i said in my first lesson the topics they repeat but the questions they make a new questions so friends never miss any sort of topic and don't mug up any sort of mcqs and all and gradually and eventually we will grab a seat thank you